Um, it's Haley here, and we've got a new video for you, and we're going to talk about transgender experiences. Super fun, right? Kind of, maybe. I mean, they're going to be a little bit weird and a little bit drama. Not really. But we're just going to talk about, like, what you deal with when you're going through being your awesome self. So, yeah. So, yeah, I've got this super cute dress on, by the way. Oh, my gosh. Got it from Hot Topic. Look at Look. It's so cute. Spin. Ah! So, I'm a dork. Whatever. Love me, hate me, never... No, not love me, hate me. Love me, keep me, and never leave me. There we go. That's what I want to say. Yeah, she's laughing over there. <laughs> it's my incognito friend over there. Her name is Allie. Say hi, Allie. Hi. Hi. Um... So yeah, so we're going to talk about little experiences of what you deal with when you got as a transgender woman, or a man, or whatever it is you're going to do. Um, so yeah, so it's it's a little difficult. I'm going to share a little bit of a story about myself. So recently, what I did is I've, I've actually had a really good experience so far for a good while of how to be approached by people when they see a transgender person. Now, of course, I just try to pass, you know, I don't really want to be like, oh, that's a transgender woman, or that's some, yeah, that's a man. No. Obviously, I want to be viewed as a woman. I just want to be coexisting in this world. That's all I want to do. I don't, like, give a crap about, you know, being labeled as that, or this, or this, this. I just want to be coexisting. That's it. So, that led us to Walmart, which is probably the most unjudgmental place in the world, because <laughs> there's a lot of weird people in Walmart, but you know, hey, toss, toss, weird, yay, there's no such thing as normal, everyone's weird, but, so we were going to Walmart, and it was like, what, one in the morning, so we had time to get things, and it was me and a couple of my girlfriends, and we went to the checkout counter, and a fa I was starting to freak out because it's not the self-checkout, and they're going to have to look at me. Me. And I was like, oh no, what if they know about me? And I'm like, I don't give a shit, who cares? Toss, toss. So I went to the checkout counter, and I was really nervous because literally everyone that's ever employed or ever experienced Walmart, or had anything to do with Walmart, was at that checkout counter. It was like, the manager, the, every, like, like four people that were at other areas, that like, the custodial people, maybe the, even the owner of Walmart, maybe the one that created Walmart in the beginning, was all there. That's who was there at Walmart. <laughs> so I was like, shit, I've got all these people <laughs> to try to pass, or something. I was like, no, 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 Haley, just calm down. You just want to be you, be your little quirky self, and just go up there and be confident, confident woman. I mean, I'm just here buying my shit. Like everyone else, I have shit, and I want you to help me buy it so I can leave and go do things in my life. So you can do things in your life. This is really weird and digression. Anyway, so, <laughs> so that went great. Like, they looked, they, they, they just helped me like I was a normal customer, and that was so invigorating. I was like, great, because I was really nervous about it. And so I got through that, and I was able to get on my stuff and get out of there, and, and then I saw, then there was this guy who was sitting on this bench, okay? He was sitting on this bench, and he looked up at me, okay? And I was all done up, I was real cute. He looked up at me, and he just started laughing. This mofo started laughing at me. And I, it felt like it was like an intimidating laugh. Like he was gonna get up and do something about it. So I was just, I had my girlfriends with me. So I was, you know, I'm glad I wasn't alone. Cause it was just, I mean, it, was, it just sucked. Cause I'm just like, it was like an out. I was, I was being outed as a person. I wasn't being accepted into this culture and into this society as a acceptable human being or whatever kind of lens you think I should be in. No, I just was outed, and it really sucked. But, I mean, of course, you know, I had some tears, and I cried a little bit after that, after I got out, and they, 
my girlfriend's plus little hearts. They wanted to kill him. As did I. But, you know, I'll just let him die another painful death down the road. This is a new dress. I don't want to get anything on it. I mean, blood. This blood does not come off. It, it's just ridiculous. And especially if you treat some little crap. How to, how to, like, have some etiquette lesson? No. Okay? Not worth getting your dress all messed up. Not worth it. I need to get a black bra because it's showing through. What's this? This is a sports bra. Like, it's showing through. It's kind of obnoxious. I'm sorry. You have to look at this a little bra strap. I digress. Again. Anyway. So, yeah. I cut my head up. I was like, you know what? Screw him. I don't care. He can have that. But sadly, some of you beauties out there, you amazing people that are so loved, are gonna have some haters. You're gonna have some people that don't know how to live in this world, that don't know what it is to be a human being, and they judge everyone else because they have their own stupid little insecurities and stuff that they haven't conquered yet, or anything else. And they feel like they can take it out of somebody else. But you know what? You're beautiful and amazing just the way you are. Don't let anybody else tell you who you are. You, they can't do that to you. They didn't make you, okay? They're not your parents. Of course, your parents don't, can't tell you who you are either. <laughs> I've had that problem. Your parents can't tell No, only you can tell you who you are. Only you, damn it. You're gorgeous, you're amazing. Anyway, so, these are the things you're gonna have to deal with when you're going, this is just one little story. I've got lots of stories, but this is just the one that was, the one that really hurt me the most, just because this guy that was just like obnoxiously laughing at me, but I shrugged it off because I'm, I'm me, you know, I'm, I accept who I am, I'm comfortable in my skin, I'm comfortable going out into the world, which for those of you that are still doing this, maybe by yourself, maybe inside, maybe just like doing it when no one's looking, I've been there. I totally been there when you just want to just be by yourself but it gets so lonely i used to just skype people so i'll just be like talking to them and just like being able to be myself and just be Haley and just talk to them so i didn't feel alone but it'd be like four in the morning sometimes i go to the mall now i go out for drinks i go i go to bars i was hit on at a bar i was hit on it felt a little objectifying, yeah, I mean a little bit, because, you know, I started dancing, these guys were across the street, and they were like blaring, yeah, by Usher, and I was like, oh yeah, I can get down to that, because I've got, actually I have a lot of dancing experience, I used to be on a dance team, I used to, I actually know how to dance, um, and I actually did a little pop lock and drop it, you know, and this guy was like, woo, yeah girl, and like getting really all hot and heavy over me and I was like well you're rude and you're a pig and you're objectifying me but thank you <laughs> I like some of that you know it's good I'm like yeah I'm gonna have a little bit of, little bit of this I mean, you can't touch it but you can just enjoy the show real quick and then go away but yeah so there's that so yeah, just different things that you can do that you just get your moral boosted. Just little things that just help you, especially as a trans person. It's because this is a hard battle, and you have to. And, you, and we're fighting it again. Like I said in my first video, not my first video, but my video before this one. You're not alone in this. I'm right here with you, and I love all of you so much. We're gonna be fighting this battle together, and we'll be going out in that world, being the beauties that we are, and not give a crap what anyone thinks. We're just gonna be up there with our head up, our beautiful faces on, and our strut going. That's the weird pose. But we're gonna be strutting. Toss, toss. By the way, one thing I really I, I did realize about myself that there's a little in personal information about myself that I did realize I've become so self conscious with my body so self-conscious like I used to be honestly I used to be a bodybuilder a while back and I still have some of those muscles that are really obnoxious those of you out there you're gonna be really judgmental about your body sometimes especially during your transition 
especially during some of the HRT treatment, especially during like anything, like when you're trying on new clothes. This is my second dress. Honestly, it's my favorite dress. And I can't tell you how amazing it feels to wear a dress. I mean, I like my little skinny jeans and I like my cool crop tops and my and my cool sweaters because it's winter and I can't wear anything cute just yet because it's freaking winter. Me. But dresses just make you feel like a princess. And I love it. And it's so great. Mwah. But sometimes you're going to be self-conscious about yourself and your body. But you need to know you're so beautiful. You're amazing just the way you are. So, I mean... Love yourself. That's the biggest step in this whole thing. You need to love yourself. You need to love who you are so that you, so this transition will go a lot easier with you just loving you and, and, and accepting the transition you're going into. And know that you're the one. It's not about pleasing anybody out there, okay? Accept who you are. And if you can't accept who you are, neither will they. But again, we don't care about them. They can just stay in their little corner, like over there. But you need to accept who you are. You need to know you're beautiful and amazing, and no one can replace you. So you can continue your amazing life as you. So, anyway, that's my little update about just little experiences that I went through. I'm gonna have many more videos coming coming up. This is one. This is my second video. This is not my second video again. This is my third video. My first one. Hey, say. My first one was really boring, because it was like 4 in the morning, and my roommates were asleep, and I had to be real, real quiet, like a little church mouse. And as you can tell, that's not easy for me, to be real, real quiet church mouse, because I'm this freaking loud air horn that goes like sporadic, like this, like a strobe. So all you beauties out there, take care knowing that and remember that no one can take your place you're beautiful you're loved and you're not alone love you